Hi there, my name is John. Welcome to Ingvid. All right, uh, today we're going to be talking about the bathroom. And I'm going to start off with um, some vocabulary and some informal language around the bathroom and uh, how to ask to go to the bathroom. All right, so uh, these, these one, two, three, four, about five words um, are the, maybe the most common words you'll find to describe the bathroom. Um, so, uh, the bathroom is something that we would uh, generally use when we're in someone's house, for example, and you might ask, uh, excuse me, may I use your bathroom? Okay, so usually with a bathtub, that's when I think of the bathroom. Uh, washroom is uh, quite common in uh, North America. So you might be outside in a restaurant and say, excuse me, may I use your washroom? Or could you tell me where your washrooms are? Uh, the toilet is also uh, very common. Uh, you could be in a, inside a house or outside near a restaurant. You, would, you could ask, excuse me, could you tell me where the toilet is? Uh, restroom, is it's quite formal, um, but it's the same thing. Excuse me, could you tell me where your restroom is? I think it might be a little more common in England, but I'm not sure. Um, the lavatory, uh, it's not very common, but you do see that on, in airplanes, you'll see a uh, lavatory. Um, okay, so those are the sort of most common words to describe the, the place where you go to use the bathroom, toilet, etc. Okay, and here's, uh, here's some fairly informal, very actually very informal language uh, that describes um, also the place and the action, okay? Um, so, the crapper or the shitter, uh, that's very informal. And uh, I would not use it, uh, for example, if you're in a classroom, um, excuse me, can you tell me where the crapper is? Do not say that, okay? That is for you and your friends, okay? Uh, but again, it's very informal, the crapper and the shitter. And uh, the, the verbs, to crap and to shit, okay? I, so you might say, oh, oh excuse me, uh, hey, hey uh, I got to take a shit, okay? I don't know, maybe you're in a panic. You need to do that. But again, this is informal, just with your friends. Um, number two, uh, this is uh, something that uh, you might, um, a mother might ask uh, the child, oh, What's, what's the matter, Johnny? Do you ha have to do number two? Okay, so that's, a, that's sort of code for to go to the toilet to take a crap or a shit. Uh, now, for uh, if you're in the doctors, you have to do some examination. Sometimes they need some things from you. Um, so they might ask, a doctor might ask for a stool sample. Um, so you might say, excuse me, I need you, I need a stool sample. So um, that, that which is different, stool is something that you might see in a, ba in, a, in a bar, for example, but a stool sample is something very different. That's after you eat something and, you know, you have to put that in a jar and you give it to a doctor. Um, some more uh, informal language uh, for the other side. This is the front side. Uh, to pee, to piss, to take a leak, or to drain the lizard. Okay, I think this is more of a male thing, to drain the lizard. But all of these are informal to describe uh, going, going to the washroom, the front side. So to pee, to piss, to take a leak. And you might say, oh, with your friends again, oh, I got to piss, oh, I got to pee. Oh, I've been drinking so much beer, oh, I got to take a leak. Um, more, more of a formal way of saying it is to urinate. And again, when you're in the doctor's office, um, they might ask for a urine sample. And um, toilet paper. Uh, this, is, um, this is what you need after you do a number two. This is something that you use. And th sometimes people use it, uh, just describe it as TP. And all this talk about going to the washroom and Excuse me, I just gotta go. Oh, okay, that was, that was better. Okay, so uh, 
so I just like to end off uh, by just uh, talking about a few more things. Um, incidentally, uh, crapper, um, the where we got this word from. Apparently, the toilet was the flushing toilet as we know it was invented by a John Crapper. Okay, um, so. Uh, if you would like to know, um, if you're in a restaurant, for example, or in an office, and you'd like to know um, where where the facilities are, the washroom, etc., um, you could ask. Uh, you could say, "Excuse me, could you tell me where the toilet is, or could you tell me where the washroom is?" So that's where we we might ask uh, where it is. Um, you could also, um, if you're in someone's home. Um, you might ask, um, excuse me, may I use your bathroom? Or excuse me, may I use the toilet? Or excuse me, could you tell me where the toilet is? Um, so I think, that's, I think that's it. So um, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, at, um, if you would, and if you'd like to take a quiz and see more lessons like this or on other topics, such as pronunciation, grammar, etc. All you have to do is go to www.ingvid.com.